Okay, uh, this is video number seven of my uh, random electronics. Uh, this is a RCA home theater hi-fi VCR. Uh, model number is VR632HR. Uh, it was manufactured in November of 19... I'm sorry, 1998. Um, this was my VCR. Uh, I bought it in early 99, if I recall correctly. Uh, I had a stereo, I actually still have it, uh, a stereo TV, a 27-inch Sanyo, that, uh, I'm not sure if I mentioned this in past videos, but I used, I worked at Walmart for a while, and I was able to get discounts. It was only 10%, but hey, every little bit helps. So I bought that TV, and then a couple of months later, I bought this VCR. Uh, the TV is a stereo TV, I figure I buy a stereo VCR. Um, this VCR was actually a pretty decent VCR for its time. I think I paid close to $300 for this thing. My, maybe a little less. I, I don't know. I remember it was pretty expensive for its time. Um, but, uh, I really wanted it and I just went ahead and bought one. Uh, and this was my first, uh, hi-fi VCR that I, that I've ever bought. I've bought quite a few since since then but this was the first uh this thing's a trooper i used it i'm actually surprised that i didn't wear it out i've watched so many things on it i've recorded so many things on it so what i thought we'd do is i haven't used this thing probably in i would say eight to ten years it's just been sitting on a shelf so i thought what we could do is fire it up and put a tape in it and see if it still will, will play. Um, I don't really want to test the record on it because I don't have an antenna hooked up to it. Uh, and again, we're going to use this uh, little 13-inch uh, KTV that uh, I've done. Uh, I think I, I did a uh, another VCR video with it, and I actually did a description video of this little TV. This little TV works good for testing VCRs and, and DVD players and such. So anyway, oh, and I do have the remote to it still. Um, pretty fancy. It's a little, it's a little dirty. It's a little worn out. Um, like I said, I use this VCR like crazy. Um, actually, it came with the VCR, but it's an actual universal remote. Um, so it's got all the, the goodies on it. And I didn't have an RCA TV. It was a Sanyo. Otherwise, this probably would have controlled it all. So, oh, and I don't know if you could see it in the video, but it's actually these buttons. Like I said, they're a little dirty. Um, uh, it's got a little button up here. If you push it, it lights up. Oh, you can see it. Okay. One of the old school things I used to do with remotes. So you could see it in the dark. If you like were laying in bed and you wanted to see what you were doing, you would just... You would just push that button and it would light up for a little bit and you can, you know, hit your buttons and see what you're doing. So anyway, uh, I guess my, I guess, do I even have batteries in this thing? Let me look here real quick. Yeah, I have batteries. I wonder why the remote's not working. Oh, well, we'll get to that in a little bit. Uh, let's go ahead and turn it on. As you can see. The display isn't all that great anymore. Um, it's kind of worn out a little bit. And I got a little close up of it here. RCA Home Theater. Um, it's got just your basic VCR function stuff on it. And it's got all the goodies over here. So, anyway, let's fire up the little TV here. Turn it on. All right, remote's not working for some reason. I probably took the batteries out of it. So we'll just do it this way. Let's turn this down a little bit. Okay, we don't want that. All right, hang on for a second. Let me see if I can get this, uh, get this remote working. All right, uh, got the remote working for the TV. Um, anyway, it's got a list of menus that you go through, but where I'm not going to fool with all that. 
Um, oh, when I did get this remote working, turned out I uh, had one of the batteries in the wrong way. It happens. Uh, it's pretty cool. You can have it set up for like, uh, hook it up to a cable box. Uh, I don't have a cable box, so no. Uh, yes, we do. Uh, I'm going to skip it because there's no antenna hooked to it. Okay. So, let's go ahead and put a tape in. And this will probably be the... I believe it's the same tape I use for the uh, Go Video VCR. I think it's going to have uh, some cartoons on it. So, let's see if it works. Hopefully it doesn't eat, eat the tape. We'll find out. Alright. Let's hit play. Alright. Looks like... Uh, Looks like the VCR works. Let's see if it rewinds. If it'll search. Yep. And it tells you on the display that it's playing. Ooh, a little blurry there. Um. Yeah. So that's good. All right. So this is another VCR that works. And, like I've said, I'm surprised this VCR still works. I I watched so many movies on this VCR. I just, I can't even imagine how this thing still works. And the fact that it's, I haven't used it in probably 10 years and it's still working too. So, all right. So that'll work. So we'll go ahead and stop it. And go ahead and see if the tape will come back out. And sure enough. Awesome. Um, let's see, it's got channels. Mm -hmm. I think if you turn it off, it tells you goodbye. Let's see. Yeah. It tells you bye, and I, it says hi when you turn it on. So, anyway, all right. Well, that's good. I have another VCR that I know works. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and put something else along on this video. Uh, it's going to be a DVD player and it's got a little bit of an issue and I will show that to you here in a second. Okay. Uh, here's a continuation of the video I just did with the VCR. Um, as you can see, this is a go video DVD player. This was my grandmother's. Um, you can see all the little focus. Well, all the cool stuff there. And it's got the display. And I guess the model number is DVP 950. And I do have the remote to it. I don't have the back to it for some reason. I don't know what happened to it. But uh, here's the remote. It's a uh, pretty involved remote for for just a you know uh, a uh, DVD player. Cause in my experience, I don't know a lot about Go Video, but uh, it says Go Video down here. Uh, I always thought Go Video was like kind of a cheap kind of I don't know a cheap version of something else you know kind of like uh I think a knockoff of Sanyo was like uh, a brand called Orion and it seemed just to be a little less better quality than than like the actual name like Sanyo um actually I didn't even look at the see if it's got a manufacturer date on the back let's take a quick peek and let's see here. All right, so it's got all the the outs on it. It's even got composite. And let's see. DVD player, model number DVP950. 
and date September 26 2002 really Wow this is one of the uh, one of the f first uh, manufactured DVD players um, maybe not uh, maybe I'm thinking of something else maybe I'm, I'm wrong on it but uh, 2002 it, regardless it's it, it's an oldie so uh, anyway I was going to show you the pro. I told you there was a problem with it. Um, we had, uh, or we still have, we have a dog that we got a couple of years ago as a puppy. And uh, we didn't exactly puppy proof our bedroom because this was in, this was, uh, this was in our bedroom, but we weren't using it, but it was in there. Uh, anyway, our puppy, you know, she's, She's four years old now, but when she was a puppy, she liked to chew on things. So she ended up, and I didn't realize this till right when I brought it downstairs here, that uh, she decided that she got a little hungry, and not probably not hungry, but just something. So she chewed a pretty good, uh, pretty good chunk out of this thing here. Um, I can fix it; it's no problem. Um, but I didn't realize this because I was going to plug it in and test it. And it's a good thing I checked the wires before I plug them in. Usually with a lot of my stuff, I double check the wiring, uh, make sure it's not looking like this. Because uh, if I wasn't paying attention, I might have got a little bit by that. But anyway, so that's the issue with that. I can fix it. And what I might do is uh, get it fixed here. You know, when I get bored sometime, and then I'll do another real fast video on it to see if it's gonna gonna work or not. Um. So anyway, it looks like a looks like a pretty decent DVD player. I mean, it's. I mean, it's got all this good stuff on it. You can even play uh, picture CDs on it, but I think you could do that with a lot of uh, DVD players. So anyway, I think that'll be it for this video. Um, like I said, I have a lot more stuff I can I can make videos on. If you like what you're seeing, if you want me to keep doing these, or if you have any questions about any of this stuff or anything, just let me know in the comments. And uh, as always, if you uh, do like all this, just go ahead and click that subscribe button. So... Uh, That'll be it for this video, and uh, thank you for watching.